Hello boys and girls and welcome to my player ratings for last night's victory in the Carabao Cup. And um, yeah, it's nice to actually win at Anfield. Now, I know a lot of people will sit there and say, oh, but Liverpool made loads of changes. They played their reserves. It was penalties. A win's a win. And um, for all of those that are saying Liverpool made a lot of changes, we predicted that. Arsenal also made a lot of changes. In terms of the Liverpool lineup, there were still a lot of players in there that were experienced and first team. They started Virgil van Dijk. He played for an hour of the game. The big surprise was Mo Salah starting the game. Um, and he also played around about an hour. Uh, Minamino, he's not an inexperienced player. Um, Harry Wilson, he's not inexperienced either. Um, Curtis Jones, he's played plenty of uh, matches for Liverpool now. To be, you know, not a novice shall we say James Milner very very experienced Adrian in goal okay it's not Allison but he's an experienced goalkeeper um Jota as well started the game he's not inexperienced in terms of his career at Liverpool he is but he knows exactly what he's doing so that's a very very strong lineup um when you look at it and I was quite impressed with some of the Liverpool youngsters um, I thought they looked really, really good. Um, the centre-back, Williams, I thought looked really good as well. Um, and you look at their substitutions that they brought on. Divock Origi came on. Uh, he's not an inexperienced player, is he? Joe Gomez, um, Wijnaldum. So they were, you know, players that are in and amongst the first team. So all of this rubbish about, you know, their... All the under 21s and everything else. Look, don't talk rubbish, okay? Um, in terms of the Arsenal lineup, there was a lot of experience in there. But again, players um, that are getting minutes, trying to find their feet, some youngsters and everything else. And it was a decent run out. And I felt it was um, an entertaining game for a nil nil. I feel that the opening 15 minutes, Arsenal started brilliantly. Um, should have been 1 0 up. Um, Pepe and uh, Joe Willock created a chance for Eddie and Ketia, uh, dwelled on the ball, and it was a good save. Um, and then Liverpool kind of come back into the game a bit. I felt it was quite even, but right on half time, they had a massive chance. Brilliant save from Bern Leno and uh, Minamino uh, put it onto the bar. And then in the second half, Liverpool were the better side. Uh, Bern Leno making a string of saves in a 10 15 minute spell. Um, in particular and then we had a chance ourselves brilliant cross from Pepe uh, Rob holding any side of the goalkeeper it's in the back of the net and then in the dying seconds of the game Joe Willock was through uh, James Milner has fell over and it looks like he stopped the ball with his hand now there's no VAR in this competition but I feel that if there was VAR a penalty would have been given especially with the new rules and the penalties we've been seeing given over the course of the last couple of weeks, whether it was a penalty or not, and it was accidental and he just fell and whatnot, it's up to interpretation. But under the new law, if VAR was involved, I'm pretty confident they would have actually given the penalty. Um, so yeah, all in all, really good game. Um, went to penalties. It's a lottery when you go to penalties. Um... Mohamed Elneny was the first one to miss. Liverpool had a massive advantage because they were taking first. And then Divock Origi um, missed his penalty straight after. Put us back into that Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Absolute unreal the way he takes his penalties. Just strolls up. Out of care in the world. Playing in the park with his mates. Um, and that brought us back into the tie. Um, and then I believe it was Harry Wilson that scored, um, or missed, should I say, never scored, um, in the sudden death part. Um, normally really good with um, dead balls and everything else. So I was a little surprised at that, but great save from Bern Leno. And then Joe Willock scores the winning penalty. Somehow, Adrian got a hand to it and it just trickled over the line. But a goal's a goal. And uh, we are through to the next round where we will play Manchester City. Now, I felt there were some good performances in there. And it'd be interesting to get your thoughts on my player rating. So 
With that said, let's go into the player ratings. Burn Leno starting off in goal and um, man of the match. Can I say any more about this performance? It was exceptional. Welcome back, Burn Leno. Maybe now the people that have disrespected him will go back under their rocks and shut up. Um, one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League. It's as simple as that. And it was nice to see him back to his best again. And hopefully that will give him the confidence moving forward. Uh, because you've got to remember, he came out of the side because of an injury, not because of form or anything. He was one of our best players last season. And the disrespect I've seen towards him is just an absolute joke. Um, but for that last night, he gets a 10. It's as simple as that. I'm not giving any other marking than a 10. Uh, next up, we have uh, Cedric. And I felt this was a decent performance from him, to be honest with you. I felt that he worked hard down that right-hand side. I felt that he got into good positions. I felt his link-up was okay. Um, I actually didn't mind that performance from Cedric. I'm going to give him an 8 for that performance. I thought it was a good all-round performance, to be honest. Um, and um, got the minutes in the tank, shall we say. Uh, next up, we have Rob Holding on the right of the three. And I felt that, again, it was a decent enough performance. I don't think he got caught out in, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one races like he may have done in the game against Liverpool on Monday. But then he wasn't coming up against the likes of Sad Omane. But I felt it was a decent enough performance. You know what? I'm going to give Rob Holding an eight as well. I thought it was a decent all-round performance. Uh, next up, we have Gabriel, and I feel that he was our best outfield player. He was brilliant. Um, commanding, wins everything, reads everything. It just, you know, makes you sit there and scratch your head even more as to why he didn't start the game on Monday. But exceptional. He gets a nine. Uh, next up, we have Kalazinak. And um, with all due respect, I hope now that that's the last time we see him in an Arsenal shirt and we do manage to get the deal done with Leverkusen. Bit of a surprise that he started. He's not good enough. He's always got a mistake in him. There was a moment in the first half where he um, was literally facing a Liverpool player in our own box. He's right in front of him. And then for some unknown reason, Kalazanak has tried to head the ball back to Leno when he can see the Liverpool player in front of him. And it's gone straight to the Liverpool player. And luckily, it you know, didn't come back to haunt us. Um, but that's what Kalazanak does. Those lapses of concentration, those errors. And it's simply not good enough. It's not worked out. We haven't really lost anything. He came on a free, but we need to get him off the wage bill. For his performance last night, he gets a six. Um, Next up, we have Danny Sobias, and um, good to get minutes in the tank. Um, tried to create a few bits and pieces here or there, but it didn't really came off for him. Uh, There's a moment um, in the game as well, I think it was at the start of the second half, where it was our throw in and he tried turning on the edge of the box, and it was like, oh, Danny, why are you doing that? You give away a free kick, nearly a penalty, and you look at that and you just think, Come on, man. You need to sort that out. And actually, I think it was at the end of the first half, sorry, um, when he did that. But inexcusable in that respect. But overall, a decent enough performance. Not really pulling up trees. And he was on the pitch for 68, 69 minutes. Um, I'm going to give him a six as well. I don't think his performance and the fact he was on there for the time that he was, anything warrants any more. Uh, next up, we have Granit Xhaka captain for the night and I felt that he was decent enough in there commanding um, you know done what he had to do at certain times of the game and it was a straightforward performance and I'll give him a seven uh, next up we have Saka run himself into the ground and um, you know substituted for uh, cramp and that shows how much he run and how much he worked. And I think during the course of the evening, he took up about four or five different positions on the pitch. Doesn't moan, gets on with it, does what he needs to do. Decent enough all-round performance. I'll give him a seven as well. Uh, next up, we have Joe Willock. And I felt it was a little under par, to be quite honest with you. I felt he struggled at times. I felt he couldn't impose himself on the game. Started off brightly. Brilliant layoff to Eddie and Ketia in the opening five minutes. And we should have got a goal. 
But his overall performance, I think that he will know that he can do better. And um, I'll give him a six for his performance. And um, yeah, I can't say no much more than that. Uh, next up, we have Eddie Nketiah. And again, I don't think this was a great performance, to be honest with you. I don't think that he covered himself in glory. That chance in the opening five should be taking it. Didn't really impose himself and has kind of fell down the pecking order. When you think that a little while ago, he was ahead of Lacazette in terms of the Premier League. And, um, you know, if this game was a couple of months ago, Lacazette would have probably started last night and Eddie would have been the one that was being saved for the Premier League game. But that's clearly changed around now. But for his performance, I'll give him a six. Uh, next up, Nicola Pepe. And um, people will sit there and try and criticise this performance. But really, you must have been watching a different game. I actually saw a different side to Nicola Pepe yesterday. His work rate was absolutely brilliant. And it's very evident that Mikel Arteta is getting on to him about that side of his game. I just want to see this guy in a more attacking formation and in a 4-3-3. And then you will start to see the best of him. I felt that he was the one player that was trying to create things. He was being direct, um, causing problems. And um, overall, I was happy with that performance. I genuinely was, and I didn't see anything wrong with it in any way, shape or form. And I'll give Nicola Pepe an eight for that performance. Um, next up, in terms of the substitutions, Mohamed El Nenny, I felt coming on with 20 minutes to go, he gave us a bit of energy in the midfield, a bit of bite, and he kind of turned the tide where Liverpool were dominating for a period where, um, you know, Bern Leno was having to pull out all these saves, but El Nenny kind of dampened that down a little bit. So I'll give him a six for his performance, only on the pitch for 20 minutes. Uh, Maitland Niles and Lacazette, only on the pitch for less than 10 minutes, so I'm not going to mark them. Um, despite the fact that they scored their penalties and everything else. We're talking about what they did in the actual game. Not on there long enough. Um, managers rating, um, Mikel Arteta. And you know what? He went with a relatively strong side. What he could go with, to be honest. I don't think there were many surprises in there. I'd probably say Bern Leno was maybe a surprise because it's a risk if he gets injured that we've got a goalkeeper to take his place in the Premier League that's never played before. So I suppose maybe that was a bit of a surprise. I'm not too sure. Granite Shaka starting was probably a surprise as well. Um, but the rest kind of took care of itself. There was youngsters in there. There was players like, you know, Nicola Pepe that needed minutes and everything. Um, so I think it was a pretty straightforward, you know, um, lineup. Aubameyang got another rest. He was at home. Um, so yeah, all in all, decent enough performance. And we won the game. And that's three wins in four for Mikel Arteta against Jurgen Klopp. It doesn't matter how we get them, how it's done. We've got the victories. And um, for that, I will give Mikel Arteta an eight because he got the victory at Anfield and it's never an easy place to go. So there we go. That is it for my player ratings. Um, we've got loads coming up. Sheffield United on Sunday in the Premier League. Um, there will be a preview to that tomorrow. Um, there will also be uh, myself on the watch along um, for AFTV Sunday. There will be a player ratings um, on the Monday for that. And this one, pull it in your diary, 6 p.m. on Sunday after the Arsenal game's finished and everything. Um, on the DTFC channel, if you've not subscribed already, do get over to the channel. Links will be in the description. We have our last league game and you do not want to miss this one. Yellow cards, red cards, pile-ups, you name it. It all went off and I'm loving every minute of it. This league football is brilliant, isn't it? So listen, if you're new around here, do hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.